So, we left our adventurers last time uh, after they had just rescued uh, Olivar's lover, Merrick, from the wedding. Uh, and you can see in the bottom left there that uh, Olivar and Merrick had run off whilst invisible through the town, whereas everyone else in the top uh, top left had gotten hidden in some kind of enchanted uh, like wine cellar. Uh, Olivar and Merrick decided to head towards the church to like find out what the hell's been going on, why he was getting married and that, and find his mother. Uh, whereas the people in the wine cellar, are, well, frankly, were a bit confused as to how they were going to get out and what they, were gonna, they could do with this wine cellar. I think at some point they noticed that there's something funky going on with one of the barrels. Uh, I can't remember exactly what, but they decided to investigate that. Uh, Olivar and Merrick here, heading towards the church, uh, sneaky in the back way. I think at first they, Olivar wanted to go in uh, guns blazing, as it were, very loud, but they sneak in instead. Uh, through some, like, vines, they see that the, uh, guy who was gonna marry, the, like, satyr guy who was gonna marry Merrick, uh, w to, 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 uh, someone else, uh, has captured Merrick's mum because they had a deal, um, uh, unfortunately they've not been able to go through on that, so he's, uh, like, holding her as collateral. Uh, Merrick and Oliver bust in there, uh, guns blazing, which is Oliver's style, to uh, scream at the uh, satyr. Uh, and now we're back with uh, Group B, who get teleported, because uh, Oliver has kind of forced, through sheer willpower and raging homosexuality, to get the setter to marry Merrick to Oliver. Because uh, in the fine print, it never specified who Merrick was getting married to. Uh, there just needs to be a cool wedding. Uh, with that, Olivar and Merrick are uh, now married. Woohoo! Beautiful ceremony. They got two cool dragon rings. Uh, and everyone gets teleported back to where they were. Uh, <laughs> these two, uh, Zuzu and Lumi, uh, go through the cool barrel and find tons of scrolls. Like, tons of scrolls. And at first, you could hear them positively salivating at the idea of just how many spells they could cast. But it's pretty much... A shit ton of the same scroll so uh you know they were a little less excited but they continued through and found a back way to oliver's dad's house uh the the bell estate uh back with oliver and merrick they uh have some weepy moments uh, realizing that they're now married uh, and have rescued oliver's mum uh, i'm pretty sure oliver was super sarcastic about the fact with them uh I can't remember why the other two are here briefly, but uh, yeah, it's just happy days all around. Uh, they go out and have a little bit of a celebration. Uh, meanwhile, back at this lot, uh, they are trying to sneak into the Bell Estate. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were looking for like uh, a pearl for Lumi or any other kind of special magical artifacts and stuff. Uh, but whilst they're sneaking up, they saw a uh, big flying pirate ship of some sort flying off. Yeah, they saw like a uh, a deal going down, an insidious deal between um, Olivar's father and these sky pirates, as it were. Uh, these two, far too curious for them, good, have snuck in and they like um, successfully break in and they're like looking around the house and they find some kind of hints towards a city that uh is in the southwest uh, that's a f like a flying city so it's like oh shit we're gonna go there uh they come down to the partying that is taking place because everyone's celebrating the wedding uh to tell everyone but people aren't particularly bothered <laughs> they're more focused on partying and then as a drunken group they all decide to go to the museum uh, again, Lumi has this uh, ulterior motive of trying to find a pearl. Uh, whilst in the museum, they do in fact find a pearl, but Lumi is too goody two shoes to steal it. Uh, and whilst Olivar's tempted, he decides against it. He's 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 trying to put his uh, more unorthodox, nasty ways behind him. Uh, a fun fact, though, whilst they're in there, they notice that uh, there is a, a a copy of something. I think it's an armor. Uh, that is actually a real copy of some armor that uh, Olivar's dad proudly has. Uh, Olivar's dad must have the fake. Uh, here we see uh, us haphazardly trying to explain <laughs> where we're going to go next, uh, where the flying city thing is. Um, uh, none of us could particularly agree on shit. 
Uh, and now we've fast forwarded to the day after, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they're still in the museum. Sorry. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, Zuzu has just gone to bet all of his money uh, on, on on gambling uh, and, and lost it all, honestly, in quite spectacular fashion. Nobody's lost money quite as quickly as that. Uh, and with that, uh, everyone gets ready to leave. They bundle up in carts and off they go. They kiss uh, Mara goodbye. <laughs>